Did you know that you can increase your testosterone levels by changing your habits? This is something that many people don't pay much attention, but there is actually things that you might be doing today that are lowering your testosterone. But the good thing is if you start changing these habits efficiently, your testosterone might get up and be boosted. Let's remember something. Testosterone is not only involved in muscle growth or it's not only involved in sexual desire or libido as many people think. Testosterone has many functions in the body as we're going to talk in a moment. And let's remember that men and women also need testosterone. Let's remember something in the movies. Tom Hardy, the great actor, when he played Bane on Dark Knight Vices and he gained a lot of muscle in a very short period of time, if he took any testosterone to get these results, to what he said, no, yeah, what? Were you thinking that I was eating candies or what? Of course, of course I had to take something in order to increase my testosterone, in order to increase my muscle mass. So testosterone plays a great role. And let's talk about how we, what are the dangers of getting low testosterone levels in men and in women? And what are the things that we can actually do in order to increase testosterone levels. Okay, so let's review fast how testosterone is produced. So we get signals in our brain through hormones that we produce in our brain that give the signal to the testicles in order that they can produce testosterone. Once testosterone it, it's produced, it gets out of the testicle, it gets in our bloodstream, and it gets into a bus that is a protein that carries testosterone and goes to every single organ so testosterone can play all the functions, all the different functions in different organs. What are those organs? What are the functions? So testosterone plays a role in masculine development. When men get into adolescence, we start getting higher levels of testosterone so we can get all the sexual development. This is related to the increase in muscle mass, to the increase on the genitals, to the increase of the growth of hair in the face, in the back, in the chest, in the arms, in the legs, in the armpit, everywhere. Testosterone is related with the production of sperm. Testosterone is related with the development and the stability of muscle mass in men, but also in women. And testosterone, of course, as every other hormone, it's very important in the brain. Testosterone in men gets out to the bloodstream and goes and do, does all the functions that we just mentioned. And then it has the chance to be produced to another hormone that it's 10 times more active and is more strong than regular testosterone that's called DHT, dehydrotestosterone. This is the one that has some actions in, in the muscle, but also it has actions and is the one that makes us lose our hair and it starts acting mostly in this part. That's why we lose hair, especially in this part and not in here. How can we measure testosterone? There are many ways, but I'm gonna tell you the simplest ways. We can measure free testosterone or total testosterone. In men, if you're going to measure total testosterone, you should be looking for levels in between 300 to 1000. And free testosterone should be levels in between 10 and 30. Now let's go for women. Women should have levels in between 15 and 70 of total testosterone and free testosterone ranging from 0.3 to 1.9. So we need to have this in mind because it's not going to be the same thing and the same risks when someone is 35, 45, 55 or 65. So please have this in mind. The other thing is when we are sedentary, there is a double way relationship in between testosterone and also with the muscle. Muscle mass helps prevention in the body of good levels of testosterone, but testosterone is determinant for having a good production of muscle mass. So this two way production to this two way relationship is very important. So being sedentary, being just there sitting all day long, at the office, at the car, at the couch, at the bed is going to be very detrimental for your health. Obesity, it's something that is going to decrease testosterone as well, because when we gain too much fat, that conversion that I was telling you from testosterone to estrogens starts increasing. And when we have this, we're going to gain more and more fat. 
and in that way we're increasing the conversion of testosterone to estrogens muscle mass is going to decrease fat is going to increase and testosterone levels are going to keep decreasing and decreasing even more chronic stress is very detrimental for testosterone remember this this is a part of the steroid hormones and cortisol which is the stress hormone is one of these so let's remember that when we have high levels of cortisol when we have high levels of adrenaline when we have are in the state of chronic stress our sympathetic system is always activated during the day and during the night this can affect the natural production of testosterone that happens with the parasympathetic which is in the states when you're calm and relaxed so when we are chronically stressed our testosterone levels our testicles are not going to be active and that production of testosterone is going to start decreasing so what are we going to do i'm going to have a good diet of course for every single thing that we do in our life we need to have a good diet but also we have to need we need to have good levels of protein we need to have good levels of fatty good fats fats coming especially from meats and fats coming from fish please go and train and train especially by lifting weights you need to have more muscle mass and you need to have more strength in order to have this double way relationship that i just talked to you about sleep when we sleep all the production of testosterone and all the production of the rest of the hormones that i just told you except cortisol are going to be made so when we sleep we balance the sympathetic and the parasympathetic and we are going to have the regular good functions the sympathetic during the day and then the parasympathetic is going to be in charge during the night helping you recover and one of the things that you do while you recover is that you produce more of the testosterone that you need so foods that we might want to add in our diet that are going to help us is again good cuts of meat especially the kind of cuts that have good amounts of fat so you can go for duck you can go for a regular beef you can go for chicken you can go for lamb those are going to have good amounts of fat and this is going to help you produce or have the substrate in order so we can produce more levels of all the steroid hormones okay guys so in this way we have reviewed all the important things about testosterone how it is produced where it is produced what are the functions what are the things that make testosterone decrease what can we do in order to maintain good levels of testosterone what are the things that we can take to increase testosterone how it is measured what are the foods and the habits that we should be doing in our daily basis in order to have good testosterone levels so remember this is very important because low levels of testosterone are making men and women to be very sick at a very young age because right now in the world we are chronically inflamed insulin resistance and all of the things that we have today starting from very young people are making testosterone levels to decrease this is something that is starting to be very important in the medical community showing that men are, are starting to have fertility problems because of the decrease of testosterone that we're having and also this is making that a lot of men and a lot of women are gaining cardiovascular disease because of the decrease of testosterone so again this is very important in a very wide variety of reasons so if you think that this information is useful please there is a very simple way to support us and is to share the video and once you've shared it please remember to hit the like button subscribe in here to the channel and remember to hit the bell so we can tell you whenever we make a new video and we can be in contact every single time thank you and till next time